in sight. Taking Just kidding. Someone's there. We need to find a pet spot to sleep tonight. Hi, my name is Billy. I'm Sierra, and this is our dog, Jetty. We usually live and travel on a boat, a few different boats, in fact. But now we are driving across the country as our new boat is being built. Join us on this all-new Tula adventure as we drive, bike, hike, paddle, and sail across the good old USA. Don't forget to subscribe. And you guys, we just woke up and we're packing up camp. We're going to head off today, but we just ran into like, a, I don't know if he was a state park ranger or DNR guy or something like that. Forestry ranger, Sierra said. He just gave us a heads up that there is a bear over here. So apparently there are black bears in these woods. And he said, for the most part, they're pretty mellow. They don't really bother you. He just came over to warn us because he saw Jetty outside. He's like, uh, just to let you know, there's a bear around the corner. <laughs> and he said the only time they really get defense or aggressive is when uh, cubs are around the mama will get defensive especially if you get between the mama and the cubs so we're gonna go he said yeah go check it out it's over here so we're gonna go check it out see if we can find it and not get too close Let's see anything to you. if you were a bear where would you be i don't hear anything We'll see a bear. We'll see a bear. Okay, so that spot was awesome. We took you guys with us one of, one of the days. We stayed there two days, but the second day it rained all day, so we just worked on the computer and went for a hike in the rain. Now we are on our way to, we don't really know. <laughs> Ohio somewhere, I think. Yeah. We're just heading west. Yeah, we're just heading heading west. I think we mentioned before our only time schedule is being in Washington in September so we are kind of just moseying along looking for really cool places to stop. I know there's a national park in Ohio, Cuyahoga? Cuyahoga? Is it national park or national forest? National park to get a sticker in our book. That was perfect. That was such a perfect setup. That's exactly what we've been looking for, what we're gonna keep looking for, just those primitive campsite spots that are free and that's called in the truck camping in the, in the boating world that's called anchoring out or gunk holing is like the official term that no one uses anymore but in the camping world the truck camping or RVing world it's called boondocking that's what we're looking for I'm going to get on and see if Ohio has anything similar to Pennsylvania where their state forest or national forest lets you camp for free as soon as we get service we don't have any right now we didn't have any that whole time we were in there. Yeah, which was so nice. It was pretty nice. You guys know I love the water, but I've always wanted to explore on land too, even when we're on the islands. I think Billy's more of a water person, but how are you feeling? I am definitely a water person. Like, if I had a choice any day, I'd rather go out kiting or winging or surfing or free diving or whatever, but we have this opportunity to explore our country and go to places we've never been before, and I'm excited about that. As soon as I figure out where we're going, I'll let y'all know. Okay, we are in Clear Creek State Forest in Pennsylvania still. We stopped at Starbucks to get some internet work done and look up a place to stay. We're going to camp in um, the National Forest in Pennsylvania. In the National Forest, you don't need a permit and it is free. There are just like select few sites, so I went online and tried to find a good one. So we have like six or seven marks, so we're gonna go check them all out and see which one looks the best. The National Forest site doesn't let you check um, availability, so there's a possibility that all of these sites are full, but I highly doubt it. So we're gonna go look. Entering Clear Creek State Forest. May the forest be with you. Does going downhill stress you out? Just gotta go slow. 
stresses me out. We got a lot of weight on this rig, so just make sure we don't build up too much speed down these steep downhills. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I'm just scared that one time you're going to press the brakes and the brakes aren't going to work. Don't jinx us. There's a whole new lingo around these neck of the woods as you just saw a sign for fresh oil and chips. No idea what that means. And I also sat, saw a like gift shop that said general store gifts and tanning. No, I told her I think it's probably tanning like like hives, like deer skin or something. I just thought it was funny. I forgot to tell you the name of the national forest we're camping in. It is Al Guinea. Allegheny National Forest. No or idea. Allegheny or Allegheny? No idea if I'm saying that right, but. Looks like someone might be here already. <laughs> yep, someone's got it staked down. I think I jinxed it. I just told you guys that I didn't think there would be any issues finding a free site, and so far we've only found one free site, and we were going too fast that we couldn't like stop and turn around. We think it's a free site. Yeah. Definitely not the top pick, but it looks like something, so. And if not, we can go back another, like, what, two miles or something and turn the other way, and it says there's, like, eight more. Maybe one of those will be free. We need to find a pet spot to sleep tonight. There's one site. Taken. Just kidding. Someone's there. Is someone there? Yeah, they're ten. Is that a tent? Yeah, and a solo shower. I think we found one. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Was he just tent camping? Yeah. How do people get here? I don't know. Cause like that one didn't have a car or anything. <gasps> There's only like four sites left. Like it. Is this one? Yeah. Woohoo! Are we sure? There's a fire pit left. Yeah, it says designated camping. Oh, sweet! Found one! Alright, let's turn around and get So we just tried to tuck back as, as close as we could to these rocks just to get the back door like as close as we could into the campground. I think we did pretty good. We were a little bit tilted like this, but that's all right. I know a lot of these truck camper and RVers have leveling blocks, but we're used to being on a sailboat, so I think just a little bit of tilt is okay. You want to go explore? See what's down this trail? Yeah, there's a trail right there, so we're going to go check it out. Smell, Daddy Carol. Just so pouring the creek. So we're just looking for some more trails to hike on. Just walking up this gravel road that we were driving down before and seeing if we could find some more trails that we could explore. Some woodsy stuff, but not too much luck. So I think we're gonna um, unload the mountain bikes and head up this road and so we could get a little bit further and just see what we can find on the mountain bike. 
Maybe let Jetty run, maybe put her in our new Jetty backpack that we got. Sound good? Yeah. <laughs> We've actually done a lot of hiking the past three days, so Jenny's probably pretty sore. My legs are a little bit sore from the past few days of hiking. Are yours? Mine feels super heavy. Careful going. <laughs> How's she look right now? Good girl. She look content. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl, Jay girl. Are you having fun? <laughs> Where are we at? We made it to a waterfall. Do you know what this place is called? Lolita Recreation Area. How you doing back there, Jets? Good girl. So it looks like they have a bunch of regular campgrounds back there in Loletta recreation area. Also, there's a bunch of like day use area stuff like a playground and a uh, waterfall. Um, look pretty cool. I think we got really lucky we found this spot that we did because it's Friday afternoon and we're seeing a bunch of cars going like back and forth along this gravel road where all the campsites are on. So I think we probably snagged the last one. There we go, home sweet home. So we've been testing out this backpack a little bit here and there for Jetty. It's working out pretty good. She seems to like it for the most part. Like when we stop, she like itches to get out. And then after like probably 30 miles or, or 30 minutes or so, she seems to get a little bit restless. She starts to move her back legs around. Her back legs seem to be in a good position, but I do think that they might like be getting, you know, a little uncomfortable for her. She just wants to wiggle them around. But for the most part, she likes it. Good. <laughs> Good you girl. made it. You made it, little doggy. We've been always making sure she's like walking and running a good amount for the first part just to get her energy out. She's got a lot of energy, so I think that'll probably be the routine from now on. Probably only be for a half hour and then let her run around a little bit more, then another half hour, something like that, if we're going on like a long bike. Let's see. All right, you wanna put the stuff away? I'll put the bikes away. You're on dinner duty. And I'm making dinner. What'd you make us? Uh, I couldn't even tell you. Just some sort of chicken, mushroom, pepper concoction. Maybe a little Parmesan cheese if it's not that good. How can you tell we're on a hard lean? <laughs> All my sauce is dripping to one side. <laughs> and I feel like I'm falling down a hill. <laughs> Would you rather be on a lean or be in a rolly anchorage? Ooh, probably on a lean. <laughs> How rolly. 